So the nature of mind is completely simple. It's so completely simple. It may seem too simple to begin with. It, it may seem that there needs to be something, maybe a little bit more. And looking around the world there, in my life, I looked at the world and thought, wow, it's, it's so hard to get along. It's so hard to get along in my own relationships. And it's clearly so hard to get along as a whole. Like, how can we ever come to, to any consensus in the world? How can we ever think that uh, maybe if we do this a bit more, they will agree with me? I mean, that's what you see on, on the world as a whole, right? Just oh, a little bit more effort, a little bit more fighting, a little bit more struggle, and maybe we'll get some resolution. And so what I saw in my own life, oh, a little bit more effort, a little bit more management of this situation, and maybe there'll be, there'll be a pervasive peace, pervasive well-being. And yet I saw that cycle again and again. I saw that cycle again in my own life, and I saw it uh, as a whole. And so when I came to the Balance View training, I was not looking for a solution uh, for the on a global scale at all. I was looking for a solution in my own life. I was looking for a solution in my own life to, to resolve the conflict I felt, you know, these negative thoughts coming up all the time and feeling like I needed to, to really fight with them, to stop them, to dampen them down. These positive thoughts were there. I, I, I felt like I needed to hold on to them, really, really make them constant all the time <laughs> and that was my my way of being in the world and so when I came to the balance view training what was offered here was a direct solution to that and the direct solution we can immediately see in our life and we can immediately recognize right now there's so many things in, you know, constantly in our, in our seats right now, we can see constant different thoughts, emotions and sensations appear, right? These constant flow of thoughts, emotions and sensations. Look at your own experience right now and see there's one thought after the next, after the next. And we just title these thoughts, emotions and sensations as data. Just an easy word to relate to our experience. Oh, there's a data stream ap appearing, data after data, thoughts, emotions, sensations. And, and so when we hear about open intelligence, what we get to recognize is something that we can really say is common about us all, the most basic reality about us all. And, and that's simply the power to know. We can all sit here in this chair and agree, okay, yeah, we all have this power to know. And we can directly experience that right now. Right now, stop thinking. What remains? <laughs> this power to know this power to perceive, the power to perceive the, the sounds of the birds. And so this power to know is what we title open intelligence. Is it hard for you to get? You're just proving me right now by hearing these words, by seeing these images. That's as simple as it is to know what open intelligence is. And so it's so disheartening to go to places, to go to this and that and be told you have to work a lot to recognize this <laughs> about you, this common basic stability about you. And it's like chasing a rainbow in space. There's the rainbow appearing in space. And then we see, ah, oh, if I just get there, if I just capture it, if I just keep that thought in place, maybe that really beautiful experience you want to keep in place, the one you've titled maybe open intelligence. 
the one you've titled, I don't know, something. <laughs> that special state, that special experience. And we see that it's like a rainbow appearing in space. These thoughts, emotions and sensations, these states and experiences. And so when we relate to uh, open intelligence as not the rainbow appearing in space, but the inseparability of the rainbow and space itself, then we have complete relaxation. We see mind is clear, open intelligence is here, the power to hear these words, the power to know. And so these data streams, these thoughts, emotions and sensations, the ones that have constantly changed, maybe it was, ah, oh, there's some birds, Maybe it's, oh, I'm back to listening to this guy speak again. <laughs> Constantly arising and resolving in space. Like a line drawn in water. That's the nature of data. And so all of these thoughts, these emotions and sensations, these data, they're inseparable from open intelligence. They're actually inseparable from open intelligence like the colour blue is inseparable from the sky. And so as you're here in these chairs, listening, you may experience all different kinds of things. And what we start to find is that the thoughts, they're, they're never a problem anymore. What I found is that my, all of my efforts to manage my thoughts into some kind of look good reality, like Maybe you heard you need to, to quiet, quiet your mind. You need to um, look at the, the observer or something. I'm, I'm picking all of these things that I've gathered from many different practices and, and trainings in my, in my own experience. And what we see is that we can really just simplify that completely to data appearing within space, inseparable from open intelligence. And so the complete revolution we're talking about here is, is, is totally radical in that we can allow all of these thoughts and emotions to be as they are and we can recognize inseparable from that totally crazy thinking process that I know in my own experience is complete freedom. Freedom in the immediacy of each and every perception. And the way we find this out is in taking short moments of open intelligence. Remember, open intelligence is completely simple. It's just what's looking. Short moments of open intelligence and repeating that many times until it's completely obvious all the time. So it's not getting into this long moment of something. Short moments, recognizing what's looking is always on, repeating it many times. And it becomes obvious and clear that all of my efforts to just really adjust everything, all of my efforts to change myself, can be allowed to be as they are. And that natural perfection becomes obvious, more and more obvious, each and every day. And so what started out as a solution to myself, a solution to my, my in, in, inner conflict, I could say, complete inner conflict, it became obvious that if, if my life is now a total peace zone, you could say, I have no more conflict with my thoughts and emotions and sensations. They, why would I ever try to have any conflict with something that arises and vanishes like a rainbow in space? It's like really running over and trying to punch the rainbow. <laughs> That's what I see in my own experience. Any type of effort with my mind, it's, you start laughing. <laughs> why was I doing that all the time? struggling, efforting. And so that complete peace zone starts to pervade 
our individual experience. And then it's totally obvious. Each one has the power to choose in each and every moment. Do we want to continue that conflict? Or do we want to allow everything to be as it is? Recognize open intelligence. And so we each have a choice. So as we each take up that choice, we each become a solution to not only internal individual conflict, but conflict as a whole. A grassroots movement. We see the power in the world of each one having a voice. We can see it amazingly possible in technology all over the world. One person stands up, everyone else resounds that voice. And so we can see how, how incredibly possible it is. Just one person, like we saw in the video, Candace, who's the founder, one person saying, okay, that's it. It's completely crazy to try and manage these thoughts and emotions and sensations. Why don't we all just allow everything to be as it is? Why don't we recognize our basic power to know? Why don't we prioritize that? Why don't we get to know that first? Why don't we get to know that as the basis to all of these descriptions, these thoughts, emotions and sensations? And so just from one person saying, yes, I'm going to try, I'm going to choose to rely on open intelligence then to get involved with these ceaseless, unending thoughts, emotions and, and sensations. These, all of these descriptions. And then we look out at a room like this today, each day, more and more people standing up for education in the nature of mind. 